y'all, it's me. Vegan Granny. Oh, did not put my hair up right. Back with another video. Um, y'all, don't take me too serious, okay? Unless I say that I'm being serious, just take these jokes and run with them, okay? Because Granny just trying to have fun. But this is a serious video. And I'm telling you guys, it's serious. So that you will understand that I'm not joking. Like, you should be able to tell when I'm serious and when I'm joking. And this is kind of serious. I was trying to clean my glasses. I need some new glasses. You know, look, look. I love these glasses. They broke. I put some tape and they keep sliding. They're not, you know, they readers from the dollar store. And they just constantly slide in because they don't fit right, um, Mr. Gizmo. Y'all see his little sweater? Come here, Buddha. I know you just got up here and got comfortable. Look at my baby. <laughs> Look at his little sweater. <laughs> you can't really see it, but it's got pockets on it and everything. He is, okay, I've been on here a minute already and I ain't got to the point so I saw this video today of this young lady and she's like one of the beauty I guess gurus and she was just you know making this video talking about how unhappy she is she's 21 I think and you know a lot of young people measure their success by the things that they have what they've been able to accumulate financially or you know you're in a house um, or an apartment you have a car and you have a lot of people following you on your sh social media so that just gives you that I'm somebody and they want to be somebody so bad. But in here, you're nobody. When you get by yourself, these YouTube followers and these Instagram followers and your nice apartment overlooking the lake and your brand new car means nothing. Because you're lonely. You haven't figured out who you are as a person because you're too busy trying to chase something. I've noticed that a lot of 20-somethings want to be famous on YouTube, like want to make a whole lot of money on YouTube. My, my grandson, well, he's not my biological grandson, but he's my biological grandson's brother. I think he's 10. He already want to do YouTube. Well, he got a little YouTube channel where he plays, you know, video games and, you know, deals with his little friend. So, you know, at 10, if they already understand that you can make money on YouTube, all of these 20-somethings. Like, y'all 20-somethings, y'all forgetting that it's a world on the opposite side of the camera. Y'all don't want to go to college. Y'all don't want to meet real people because you're too busy trying to get rich on YouTube. The vegan community, the reason why I don't make a lot of vegan videos is because most of the vegans are out here, what I eat in a day, I eat 500 mangoes, mono meals. All y'all doing the same thing. Oh, I'm in Thailand. I rode my bike today for 50 miles. And uh, if you're just sitting on your couch, you're not doing anything. Everybody doing the same thing. And all of you are doing the same thing and you all feeling the same on the inside. You're not happy. And the sooner you realize that money does not make you happy the better. If you don't have 
real friends, real friendships, real people that you hang out with other than the people on the internet or the people that are boosting you up on the internet, but you only talk to them in the comment section. If you don't have some real, like I watched Charles Gross, 20 years old, 21, something like that. It seems that his parents are well off um, financially. And he basically spends his, his entire YouTube channel is him talking, spending money, um, buying Gucci watches and um, what is those Hermes uh, purses and Louis Vuitton purses, all this stuff. Just stuff. $400 colognes and 20 years old getting Botox and fillers and all of this stuff. And he, the relationships, I guess he does these, he's gay, he does these hookups with people because you don't, you're, you have an inability to make real connections with people. And I noticed that with a lot of 20-somethings. And it's because of technology. You guys are, this this year, this y'all. And the world is just passing you by. You're so connected to your devices or to making money that real life is just slipping away. Because trust me, you ain't going to always be 20. And I know when I was 20, I felt like I was going to be 20 forever. Then I turned 30. Then I was like, oh, it's cool. I'm going to be 30 forever. Then I turned 40. Okay, this is moving real fast. I need to, you know, really slow down and start looking at things differently. Then I turn 50. You start to look at things different. But the earlier that you realize these things, the better it is for you. And I think because I had an old school mother... You know, I had an opportunity to see some things differently than maybe my kids saw how I did things. Because in my twenties, in my twenties, I was out there. I was, you know, I wasn't, on, I wasn't doing drugs and nothing like that. But I was clubbing. I was, you know, having me a good time with my. We had friends. What no internet? There was no YouTube. We wasn't trying to get subscribers and get people to watch our videos and act stupid so I can have people watch me. No! We just out here really living. Really talking to people. I didn't use my phone to talk to somebody. If I wanted to talk to her, I would call her. Hey girl, check this out. Meet me at Won't De Won't at 7 o'clock. When I got there, she was there. I didn't have to FaceTime her. Girl, what you doing? Oh, nothing. What you doing, girl? Look at me, girl. No. We really talk to each other face to face. I don't know what to say. I mean, I love you young people. I just, I don't want to see all of you unhappy. And I see so many of the same videos. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. I'm unhappy with my life. I, I don't know which direction to go because you're so caught up in wanting to be famous, wanting to be rich. Why y'all don't want to be like a nurse or a fireman or a police? Don't nobody want to be a police no more, huh? A counselor or something that gets you away from YouTube. Why y'all want to do that? Because it ain't no money in that, huh? It ain't enough money. You got to live lavish. You got to have that Michael Kors watch and all that. 